Hey friends, today Disney Springs has invited me out to show you guys some of the amazing food and drink offerings for the Flavors of Florida event. I am so excited to try some nifty foods and also drink some fancy drinks because the pictures of these items make everything look so bright and merry and I'm just pumped. Anywho, let's go do this. It's not an official event without a guide, so I picked up the Disney Springs Flavors of Florida event guide July 6th to the 12th, and just about every single place in Disney Springs is participating, so everything has a little bit of something to offer, and we're going to go around and try some places I've never even been before, so I'm excited. Disney Springs is so huge, and I can't believe that there's places that I've never been to before. I've come here hundreds of times, and it's interesting. And that's what we're gonna do today, is because we're gonna try to go to the places that I don't visit that often whenever I do come to the Springs, and see what kind of food items they have for the Flavors of Florida event. First place I'm stopping at is Marketplace Snacks. Now, I have come here before. I've gotten items, but they have something that I could not pass up on, and of course, it has to do with the Dole Whip. Holy moly, take a look at this. It is a watermelon with watermelon Dole Whip inside and then chocolate chips. This is like art. This is art. <laughs> I can't even believe this actually exists. I can't wait to try the watermelon Dole Whip. All right, I'm going in here. Why is that so good? Oh my Lord, how do I get to the watermelon? So this is amazing. This melts pretty quickly. This used to be a TikTok exclusive, but now they actually have it on the cover. So now we're gonna grab a little bit of watermelon with that. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. I cannot wait to try the watermelon with the Dole Whip. That might be my new favorite Dole Whip dessert. Wow, it's so refreshing. The watermelon is just amazing. Wow. I think I can do without the chocolate chips. I don't think it adds much flavor to it. And it's only $6 for this. And it's pretty big. Like, do you see how they have like the big chunk of watermelon? It's full in the middle. So it's kind of like a watermelon Dole Whip sandwich. I like that. Once you do actually eat most of the Dole Whip off of it, you can start eating it with your hands. But I highly suggest you do it with a spoon first. Now I can take bites out of it, like no problem. I have never been so excited for like a Dole Whip. Now the marketplace always has amazing Dole Whip like creations. Like they have Dole Whip nachos here that I remember getting. I think that's the only other time I've ever eaten something from here. But now I think I have to keep an eye on what's here. Okay, revelation here. Once all of the watermelon Dole Whip melts, that is when it's best because the watermelon kind of soaks up that like flavor. So it's like a doubly watermelon flavor. My mom loves watermelon, so she's coming down here soon. I'm gonna bring her to get this because I think it's just amazing. Right behind Marketplace Snacks, they have Dockside Margaritas, and they're taking part in the flavors of Florida, and they have a Chipotle Pineapple Margarita. I'm not too sure if I'm ready for this right now, so I'm not gonna be able to get it, but take a look at this skewer in there. That looks phenomenal. It's got a chili salt rim, and you can actually just hang out here and listen to music. I'm gonna pull out my map and I'm gonna try to find some places that I haven't been to before. Dockside Margaritas I actually go to a lot. I really love the vibe there, but I wanted to try some new places that I've never had before. So luckily we got the map that shows us what they're offering and gives you pictures too, because that's how I found out about the watermelon. Right there it is, the watermelon Dole Whip. See, I seen that picture and I was like, okay, that's where I'm gonna start. So I'm gonna look through this menu here and it's big. Like I'm gonna try to wave it open. Look at me try to wave it open. Flappy flap, there we go. Lots of places. I just did a video here maybe about a week and a half ago and I came to Amaretz and they had the Boozy Eclair. That was actually a part of the Flavors of Florida Festival but I wasn't doing a video on that alone that day but I really wanted to try it. So if you want to see that, you can check out that video. Today, like I said, it's more about just items exclusively for the Flavors of Florida. 
speaking of places I've never been before, Aaron McKinnon's Bakery in New York City. I've never been here before. And they have an orange blossom cupcake full of orange zest and pizzazz, vegan, gluten-free, and kosher, and I think I'm going for it. I've never eaten anything from inside here, so anytime I got a cupcake, it was normally from Sprinkles. If any of you have eaten before, let me know which ones you uh, prefer. Do you prefer Sprinkles cupcakes at Disney Springs or Aaron McKinnon's Bakery here? I've never had this one before, so I can't say, but let me know in the comments which one you think is better. It's actually really cute in here and it says bakery rules a bakery free from harmful ingredients and cute uniforms but take a look at all of those snacks in there everything looks amazing doesn't it <laughs> oh, wow they have thin mint brownies unfortunately it looks like the cupcake is sold out it's only three o'clock so that means the cupcake must be very popular i really like the inside of that restaurant well bakery and uh yeah maybe i'll have to stop back but like i said if it's selling out that means it's a popular item here is a look at it again but wow now i really want to know what it tastes like i want to know what love is i want you to show me that's okay. Aaron McKinnon's isn't the only place I haven't been before at Disney Springs. I have not been to Paradise Soul 37, and they have two items there, so we're gonna actually go check that out. I don't think I've ever eaten anything in here. Now, I think they're probably just desserts and most definitely a margarita, but we're gonna find out. This place is actually really fancy, and I'm liking all the artwork in here. It kind of reminds me of Disney Springs. I have walked past this restaurant several of times and I never came in actually, so it's really nice to see the inside. Oh, you know what? I think I did dine here once, just like a long, long time ago, and I don't even think I ate. I think I joined up with some friends that were sitting here, so I guess this is going to be my first time. Instead of eating inside, I decided to eat outside because it's a beautiful day out. The skies are blue and you can just see amazing views of all of Disney Springs from their little outside eating area here. You get to see all of Disney Springs from here. Wine Bar George, the Hangar Bar, the Sasagula Boat Works, and then of course the beautiful water view. We can even see the boathouse and the hot air balloon, what characters in flight if it actually goes up. So I'm happy to be sitting out here and just take a look at what they have to offer. Holy moly. First, this is the margarita and then an orange cake. This orange cake looks probably the best cake I've ever seen. Look at that. For some reason, I just think carrot. Not like a carrot carrot, but a uh, chocolate carrot. I know Gertrude Hot's chocolates used to actually have like uh, a chocolate carrot, but it was orange chocolate and like white chocolate. It was very good. So first I'm gonna try the blood orange margarita. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's, so it's a uh, tequila, blood orange tequila, fresh lime juice, and then a splash of agave nectar. And it looks so amazing. Funny though, is when you actually order it, they ask you if you want a big or a small, and I took the small, and look at the size of this. Oh boy. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is good, but it's also very strong. Very, very strong. I'm happy I got the small, because the large probably would have done a doozy on me here. Oh yeah. You can definitely taste the tequila. <laughs> and here is the Florida Sunshine Orange Cake. Sweet Florida orange layer cake iced with a decadent white chocolate frosting. Oh boy, I can't wait to, I don't know. I, wanna, I don't want to break it because it's so pretty. All right, we're going to go right here. Oh wow, that just pulls apart. Fantastic. And they also give you a little orange zest on the side there. You know what's really funny is I didn't know they had an orange cake here and one of the things I wanted to do was Gideon's because they have huge cake slices that I've never tried before and I was hoping maybe they had like a uh, flavorful Florida cake so I might be eating two cakes today. Oh boy, I'm up for the challenge here. That is really good. Not too sweet either. Like you can just get a little bit of that decadent white chocolate frosting and that'll be just good enough right there. I'm liking this music going with it too. I feel very fancy. Oh, 
sitting out here just listening to music is really giving me like summer vibes right now it's so beautiful i like how they put little flowers on all the tables paradise Hotel 37 seems like a really nice spot i might come back here and maybe do like a full dining review i'd like to try some of their actual food food now it's time to move along that margarita was amazing definitely a little bit heavy on the tequila i mean it's a margarita what would you expect but the cake the cake was phenomenal i'm not too sure how it compares to gideon's because i've never had gideon's cake slices so if they actually have a cake uh, at gideon's i probably will try it i'll get it to try it i don't know if i can eat it all because that's a that was a big piece of cake already but uh yeah we gotta see if they actually do have one or not we also have to see if we can get in or if they're sold out because you never know actually well it looks like they have a cake and a cookie but there's no way to actually get in so i'm gonna actually hop in now and it looks like the cake is a chocolate chip key lime pie cookie and then a key lime pie cake so i think i might get the cookie but take it with me to go because i want to get something to eat like food food since i just had a dessert you know what i mean so we'll grab it take it to go and then have it for dessert at another place makes sense i also like how it's a little mermaid on the front now and on the back it says flavors of florida and that's it the chocolate chip key lime pie cookie that's the one we're going for they also have the key lime pie cake but we said a cake i haven't been in here in such a long time thank you oh yes yeah, very fancy <laughs> it is so cool in here Ooh. i love it I might actually get a coffee too. I don't think I've ever got the coffee in here. The only time I've ever gotten anything from here was when it first opened. I ended up getting one cookie and they ran out of coffee. So I might get a coffee and a cookie for later. I love seeing all the different characters on the walls here. Look at this little baby right here. Little kid here and it's got one little tiny thing. Here is a look at the cake slices. Like I said, there's no way I'd be able to eat one of those cake slices right now. I mean, they're huge. And this right here, this is the key lime pie cake, which looks amazing. I wish I got this instead of the orange one, but I'm just gonna get myself a cookie. I don't know where the cookie's at. Should be here, oh yeah, right here it is. The key lime chocolate chip cookie, limited edition. They all, all right, receipt's gonna be in the bag with the cookie. Thank you. And there's your cold brew as well. Oh, perfect. Enjoy your now I got my cookie and my coffee, and this coffee is absolutely amazing. I feel like I say absolutely amazing a lot, but it's delicious, it's fun, it's great, it's fancy. There's so many different ways I can describe things, but absolutely amazing sounds perfect to me. I would definitely get it again. I haven't tried the peanut butter one. This is just the classic, and it's refreshing. I needed it after that margarita. <laughs> And I'm gonna carry my cookie around with me. This is a heavy sucker right here. I am so excited to try this, but I can't do it right now. I gotta get some food food in me. I might actually have a great idea. I might just hold off and not eat this until I get home, stop and grab a cupcake from Sprinkles to give to Gracie, so that way we can have dessert together when we get home and we'll show you. But right now, I think I found a spot that I can get something to eat that has some of the flavors of Florida items, and I'm excited because it's kind of a favorite of mine. The good old polite pig has got some shrimp and grits for the flavors of Florida and I do love me some shrimp now it depends on the grits but we're gonna give it a go we're gonna test it out and see what it's like oh my lord take a look at that coffee rubbed brisket right there oh, that is the stuff can I tell you this is my favorite quick service restaurant in all of Disney World Captain Cook's at the Polynesian is a close second and then uh, Port Orleans, but that's technically not open right now. So this is it the best quick service in all of Walt Disney World It's really hard not to get like my usual whenever I come here like ribs or brisket And uh, it's all about the flavors of Florida today So I did get the shrimp and grits because that's what they have listed on the, the little menu itself and I'm excited It's $24 though. So it's not like a sample. This is a full meal meal and uh, yeah, I can go for some good old shrimp. I'm not too uh, sure about the grits, like I said. Sometimes I like grits, sometimes I don't. So we'll just have, uh, see how these ones actually play out. 
and holy moly here it is at first i was a little skeptical here because i was saying it's 24 dollars and it's just shrimp and grits but look at the size of those shrimps they're huge and i love how they come out in the skewer oh wow and then there's a pineapple glaze on there this is gonna be absolutely amazing oh yeah there it is the absolutely amazing and take a look at the grits they look nice and creamy and there's cheddar in there i believe as well and then it comes with coleslaw and cornbread this is gonna be a very very good dish i already know i mean polite pig has never let me down before i don't know how i'm gonna go about eating these shrimps I want to take them off little kebabs. Doesn't it look like it's kind of like chopsticks? But I want to eat them on the kebabs, so I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pull one off first. I'm, I hopefully it comes right off. Let's see. Oh, whew, there it is. Okay, all right. Look at that. Holy moly! Oh, I love me some shrimp. All right, here we go. Light pig does not disappoint. Such amazing shrimp. I can't believe it's smoky shrimp. Like, one thing I love about polite pig is everything tastes like smoky. It has that smoke flavor to it. I mean, it's it's a, it's a barbecue. It's a modern barbecue restaurant, and I love it. I love how things have a smoky taste to them, and that pineapple glaze is phenomenal. Seriously, one of the best shrimps I think I've ever had. Oh yeah, you get a better look at it from this side because there's no glaze on the back, just on the front, and oh, just so good. Honestly, I'm so happy I got it. Now I gotta try the grits. Like I said, those are what I'm a little bit hesitant about. That's just, you know, it depends. Like I said, I'm not too big fond of the cheddar grits. I already know that there's cheese inside them, but sometimes you can't taste the cheese at all. So we'll find out here. Mm, no, that's not bad at all. And you get a little bit of that pineapple glaze in there too. Yeah, I like these grits. <laughs> Preferably, if they let you switch out the side, that would be good because then you can get like Brussels sprouts or waffle fries, but shrimp and grits kind of just go together. Everything else you get like, you know, a brisket or a rib meal, you get to choose your sides, but this is just one package and I don't think coleslaw counts as a side. I think that's more of a garnish and everyone gets cornbread. This is just so good and it always, it, and it just makes me more and more confident saying that the Floyd Pig is my favorite quick service restaurant. I don't even think they can call this a quick service restaurant. Even though it is, like this is some high class stuff here. It's a high class show, folks. <laughs> wow. Every time now. Look at it. Shrimp that looks like this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> That shrimp was just so good. And like, it's so hard to find that shrimp where like you take a bite and it's just like a huge, like bite full of shrimp. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm just not getting the right shrimp from my places. I need to find myself a new shrimp guy. But anyways, <laughs> I really liked it. Polite Pig never disappoints. And now I got my cookie. I get to take it home. And then we're gonna hang out with Gracie. Oh, I actually have to get Gracie your cupcake though. Gracie is a really dainty eater, but she loves the cupcakes from Sprinkles. I don't know why, so now every time I come down here, I want to get her some and then take it back to her so she can enjoy a little snacky poo. <laughs> I wonder if we should go inside or if we should use the ATM. I don't know if they've got the uh, dog cupcakes in the Sprinkles uh, ATM. We'll find out here. Let's see if we can see the screen here. All right, touch. Oh, I don't see a little pup. No, no puppy. Let's see, scroll down a little bit more. Oh, nope, looks like we have to go inside, even though I really do like this ATM. It's really fun. It actually puts the cupcake right here for you. Oh, the AC feels amazing in here, and it smells so good. I wonder why they didn't participate in the Flavorful Florida food event. Looks like they just have all their regulars here. Gracie's got her cupcakes right here. And I've got my cookie, so now we're gonna head home and 
have a little dessert a little bit later on, and I think Grace is gonna be super happy. Doggies love cupcakes too, and they sell them in three packs or individual. The three pack I think was uh, nine dollars, so that's not too bad. You know, I'll give her one today, one tomorrow, and then probably the day after. You know, I don't know if I can give her too many uh, so much. They don't give you ingredients, or they do give you ingredients. Oh, you been a good girl, huh? You been a good girl? You want this? You want this? A little cupcake? A cupcake for Gracie. Oh, I'm trying to get another bag here. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Oh. Only for good girls. You want this? Okay, I'm gonna take it out of the wrapper. Here we go. There you go. Where are you gonna take it? <laughs> Is it good? Yes, Daddy, it's really good. You got cupcake crumbs all over the carpet, though. There you go. Clean them up. That's the way. She's so adorable. Look at her. I probably should have eaten my cookie first because now she's going to be trying to eat my cookie. You know, no matter what, anytime I cook dinner or I'm having something at home, I always feed Gracie something, but she always comes after my food. Always. So now I'm going to have my Gideon's cookie. It's been a couple hours and I can go for a nice little cookie and it looked amazing. Like it was fantastic. I can't wait to see what it tastes like. I hope it didn't melt. Oh, oh it did melt a little bit. The chocolate melted a little bit. Oh, holy moly. Oh, but look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh, wow. What are these, like chunks of the cookies right here? Ooh, it just fell apart a little bit there. One of the things that I noticed is they had chocolate chips on most of the desserts and it was like watermelon, key lime, and orange. And I didn't know that was a thing. You know what I mean? I feel like the chocolate chips can go without, but now I'm gonna try to bite this cookie, but not get chocolate all over me. It is a big, big mess. I suggest if you get the cookies to eat them away or maybe in the box they probably hold a little bit better because this is a paper. I got an individual cookie. That's why it's maybe melty or because it's like 90 degrees out. I don't know. You know, it's kind of strange because it tastes just like a chocolate chip cookie, but then also like they just put key lime pie crust and mixed it in the dough because you can taste just the chocolate chip cookie and then the key lime. And it's definitely unique. It's not something you would normally taste, especially when you bite into a cookie. Gracie definitely can't have this. She can only have dog food or food made for dogs. Chocolate's no good for dogs, I know that. She still tries though. Oh wow, it's so soft. It's like falling apart. Holy moly. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. When you get to the middle, that's where it's at. It's kind of like a cookie brownie almost. Okay, <laughs> that's a lot better. I can't believe she didn't even pick up her own cupcake wrapper. Just left the garbage there for me. Ate all the cupcake, left, and then left her mess laying around. Anyways, I think that's gonna do it for me. Cookie is delicious, Gracie liked her cupcake. I'm home, gonna have to edit this video now. And it was such a fun day, you know what I mean? I absolutely loved just going to hang out at Disney Springs, try some new food. I wanna get to uh, Aaron McKinnon's bakery. I would love to try one of the cupcakes from there. I probably should have got something even though they didn't have the uh, flavors of Florida. But I'll go back, we'll definitely check it out. And thank you, Disney, for uh, inviting me out they gave me a gift card that i actually bought all this food with you know what i mean so uh thank you to them they wanted me to show you it and i absolutely loved it the watermelon was my favorite definitely by by far the watermelon uh dole whip was amazing anyways i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye